Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hello everyone, Veronica Belmont here at CES 2013 and I was hanging out at the Belkin booth and I ran into my good friend Jonathan Strickland of the How Stuff Works podcast. Now have you seen anything cool here at the Belkin booth in particular? Uh, yeah, actually the thing that really caught my attention despite the fact that I'm not a parent nor do I plan to be one is the Wemo baby monitor. Oh. And why is it special? Two things. First of all, it's working with an app called Evo where it has a crying algorithm where it actually detects crying as opposed to any other noise. So when your baby cries, it sends you an alert. You can go and check on your baby. But if a big truck goes by or if you have one of those little tiny trimmers that you guys in California sometimes experience, it won't necessarily set it off. So that's neat. The other thing is that there's actually some data analysis going on. It's tracking sleep and crying patterns of your baby so you can look at the data and find out what is it that's causing your baby to cry? Is it uh, environmental? Is it when the baby's hungry? And it helps you, in theory, become a better parent as a result. Wow, that's actually really interesting. So it's, it's keeping track of all that data and then analyzing it. Right, and we've seen this in a lot of other applications, a lot of other products where uh, it's all about data tracking and analysis, giving us more control of our lives through data. So things like fitness apps where, or fitness uh, products where it's tracking how many steps we take or uh, it's estimating how many calories we burn or we're tracking our nutrition. We're getting to a point now where we are tracking everything about our lives. Our lives are becoming data points that we can analyze possibly obsessively if you're like me. <laughs> and it's fun too because once your kid grows up you can say, oh man, the algorithm that it took to process your movements and, and, and info, really difficult. You were a tough baby. Right. Dad would come to me and say, son, let me show you the spreadsheet that tells the story of your life. Fantastic. Do we have any information on pricing or availability yet? According to Belkin, it's going to be available sometime toward the end of 2013, but they're saying this is a really soft launch, so they haven't announced anything about pricing as of yet. Now, is this the kind of technology that can be used in other areas as well? Sure. I mean, anything, we're talking about the Internet of Things here. We're talking about sensors that are gathering data, uploading it to the cloud, you get access to it, then you get to analyze it any way you want. This is one small application, and of course, the Wemo technology is in lots of different products, not just the baby monitor. So we're going to see this across all different kinds of appliances in the future where the world around us is collecting data and then we get to obsess over it. I wonder if it will work with my puppy. You know, I'm, I'm sure it would. Uh, I don't know that you want to see every single time your puppy cries, though, do you? Or don't I? <laughs> all right. At CES 2013 here at the Belkin booth, I'm Veronica Belmont with Jonathan Strickland. For more videos from Revision 3, head over to revision3.com slash techzilla and youtube.com slash techhd. Hey there, it's Stephanie from Revision 3 here at CES, and we are in the Ford booth with Julius Marchwicki, who's here to tell us about some exciting, very exciting very news exciting for news. developers. Huge news. So today we launched the developer program, the Ford developer program, available at developer.ford.com. It's the best place for app developers to create uh, safe, non-distracting, voice-activated applications for the vehicle. That's awesome. That sounds really exciting for developers. Now tell us, what are some of the tools that are available for these guys? Well, when developers log on to the website, they have access to sample code, the SDK, white papers, tips and tricks, a forum, blogs, uh, basically everything they need to know about how to create an application that's voice enabled, that you can access all the features, but you keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, all activated via voice. So when I think about apps and cars, I'm thinking like music and news, but tell us a little bit more about some other cool apps that are out there. Yeah, so music and news are, are so essential for the car, and those are often the most fun. But location-based services are also a really, really big one. Um, so we launched an app called Glimpse, um, which is an application that lets you share your location with your friends. We also have Be Coupley, which uh, helps you find cool date ideas nearby. Uh, but on top of that, for, for news, we have USA Today and Wall Street Journal. We have a Kaliki news app that helps, uh, helps you find great content, uh, as well as Rhapsody. So lots of music there. Uh, so we're just really excited. It's going to be awesome. Great. So you should go to developer.forb.com to check out more information. And Julius, thank you so much for bringing us this amazing content from Ford. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right.